the Academy for Women Entrepreneurs, a United States government initiative, has empowered 20 female returning migrants with skills with a view to reintegrating them into society. Over the past few weeks, the participants received university-level business management training with mentoring from established women entrepreneurs. Plus TV News correspondent Emmanuel Ulubo-Bokun was there and now reports. To support the comprehensive rehabilitation and reintegration of migrants, 20 female returnees were selected to participate in the Academy for Women Entrepreneurs, AWE program. Inspired by the American series Shark Tank, the returned migrants pitched business models to a panel of investors, persuading them to invest in the ideas. In our remarks, the U.S. Consulate Public Affairs Officer of the United States Consulate, Julie McKay, highlighted the importance of promoting an enabling environment that reduces barriers and facilitates women's full participation in the economy. This is the Academy for Women Entrepreneurs, and it's a program that we do all around the world to help women start businesses and grow businesses because we know that women, uh, when they're empowered economically, they give back to their families, the families grow, the communities, as well as the country economically. And so we help uh, both this special cohort of women as well as other women entrepreneurs from all over Nigeria. 120 women are participating. Today it's 20 women in the special cohort. Um, and so yes, it's something we've done since 2019 here in Nigeria and over 770 women have participated. They worked so hard and were so successful at building and starting their businesses that we saw the opportunity to give them additional training, mentorship, um, through this program. The panelists noted that assisting with just money is not the best way for returnees to be reintegrated into the society. They believe that empowering these women with requisite skills to improve their businesses can go a long way in encouraging them. It's important to, you know, sort of help them, not just help them financially, because um, a lot of the help that is available to them is just giving them um, some money but they need business training. They need business training, they need therapy as well, and they also need the network so that they can skill properly and have something sustainable. It's been um, a touching experience knowing that we have a lot of young women that still go through this ordeal. However, we're grateful to, um, and to organizations like the AWE. It's amazing to see that these women can return and they return to hope because they come back and they're being put through a process that makes them become something. And I think that's the most important thing because a lot of them lose their identity, you know, but um, they bring them back and we're able to mold them. Some of selected returnees express gratitude to the organizers, noting that the program has shed light in their path. And I came last year, they opened me up to so many ideas and I'm happy today I came with a very wonderful product, at least now I'm bringing solutions to other people's lives. So I'm so happy and I thank AWE for this opportunity. I'm I'm so grateful. Opportunity to join the um, Academy for Women and Entrepreneurs came. It was really exciting because I've always wanted to be in business, but didn't know how. I had had several failed businesses, so I really wanted the information that could help me stay in business and also succeed. A favor and an opportunity to be among those that are pitching here today. Um, and I am grateful for this opportunity. And um, I just want to say it's a privilege and I really appreciate this. Statistics have shown that women's participation in the economy drives better global businesses, resilient values, economic growth and sustainable development. Emmanuel Olubobokun, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.